Hello everybody and welcome to International Superstar Soccer Professional Evolution 2 oh, Offshore Isis Pro Evolution 2 So today we're going to begin a conquest, a challenge to win the International Cup with the mighty, the mighty Super Eagles, no, not Crystal Palace, it's Nigeria So you may be asking, why Isis Pro Evolution 2? Well, it is one of my favourite games of all time, not even just football game it's just one of the best games i've ever played it's fantastic uh when i was a wee lad days weeks of my life were spent on master league and i must have had hundreds and hundreds of matches against my dad after school and at weekends you also might be asking why nigeria well i didn't really want to be one of the the big hitters you know your brazils frances etc um i wanted to be a bit of a underdog but then I, on the other hand i didn't want to be a team who uh, completely had no chance whatsoever so nigeria uh, fit the criteria quite nicely. They're an outsider, but an outsider with enough talent to realistically get pretty far in a World Cup in real life, I'd say. You know, back in, back when this game was made, which I think was like 99, 2000, maybe 2001. Nigeria also have a lot of what I'd call cult heroes. You've got your Kanus, you also have Kocha, Taribo West, uh, Celestine Babiaro, Finity George, some big, big names there. And of course, how can I forget none other than Biases Pro Evolution 2 legend in my eyes, Tijani Babangida. He's an absolute beast. He's the, I'd say he's the Nigerian right-footed Iron Robin. His cutting and shooting skills are out of this world, as you'll see, hopefully. I also wanted to be a team with a bit of pace and power, because in this game, pace and power is everything. Um, and Nigeria have some pretty quick players, Babiaro, Babangida, they both think I think it's about 19 the stats, and they're both kind of 18 or 19. Um, you've got Julius Agahauer as well, he's quick. Um, I think you've got a couple of other fast players there as well. And you've got some big hitters in terms of long range shots in Sunday Elise. Um, he can bang them in from, I'm gonna be, as you'll see later, I'm gonna be slotting him in in defensive mid, hoping to bang in a couple of long range wonder goals. And you've also got JJ Kocha as well, as I said, he's, um, Technically, one of the best players in this game, I reckon. And finally, I'm being Nigeria because their kit from this era is fantastic. It's a class, the classic Nike kit from the, I think they were in the 98 World Cup. Check it out uh, if you want to see like the proper real life version rather than the uh, pixelated version, but it is a thing of beauty. Um, as I haven't played this game for about 15 to 20 years, I did a few warm up matches just to, uh, you know, shake off the dust and also to to see what difficulty I wanted on. I tried it on normal. Um, I thought I'd give myself an easy, medium and hard game to play. Um, put myself against Iran, Sweden and Brazil respectively. And here's how I got on. The match is about to begin. The team attacking from the left of the screen is Nigeria. And attacking from right to left is United Arab Emirates. He's putting it in the back of the net! And oh, what a strike! If he can just connect here. And he's beat the keeper! Fabulous move! To the right. The whistle has blown. That's the end of the game. Always been brought down. It's a goal! That was stunning! There's the whistle for the end of the game. Good control. The shot. He's putting it in the back of the net. Oh, what a strike! Oh, he shoots from there. Get a corner. He heads it. And he's beaten the keeper. Fabulous move. And haven't got into the matches yet. Oh, he stole it. There's the whistle. The game ends with a draw. So, as you can see, um, pretty good set of results, actually. Two wins and a draw against Brazil. I'm happy with that. Although, to be fair, Brazil didn't have Ronaldo for some reason. I think this game was released when he had his knee injury pro problems. Um, 
which is why I think he starts off on the bench. So got a bit lucky there, really. So let's just run through the quick setup of the old International Cup. Um, I press the wrong button. Cup, that's what I want. New game, International Cup. So let's do 15 minutes. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep that in, on normal. I'll, I want it to be challenging, but I don't want it to be impossible. So we'll just stick to that. And that's it. It is. So I did have a bit of an issue with um, trying to set this competition up fairly um, and randomly. I wanted to use the old random selection button. Um, unfortunately, it, just, it wasn't really good enough. I, I wanted to be able to pick what teams I wanted, but put them in a random order. But um, unfortunately, there's no options to really do that. So um, you're just going to have to trust that I did try and make it as random as possible. I picked the teams that I wanted to be in the tournament, i.e. the best teams from a fair split of the continent. So each continent represented fairly. Um, but I had to use, basically I had to use a Google random number generator to decide which group they're in and which number they're in in that group one to four. So I'm just gonna, as you can see, whiz through the setup of that now, because it's not very interesting to watch. It took about half an hour to do. It felt like about three hours, but anyway. There we have it. Um, as you can see, not in the easiest group. Um, if I was to cheat, I certainly would not have picked France in my group. Uh, Mexico, France and Sweden. Sweden, the team who we did beat in one of the warm-up matches, to be fair. So that's good news. Uh, Mexico should be pretty handy, though. Uh, playing against Campos, that's fantastic news. Without boring you for 30 plus minutes, I can't think of a, a decent way to show you to show me do this randomly, to prove that I've done it randomly. So you're just going to have to take my word for it, I'm afraid. Oh, International Cup opening game. All your rival teams have come through the tough competition of the qualifying round. Can you survive against these excellent teams? Let's hope so. Oh, what's this then? All right. Um, excellent. Oh, I love this. It's like a proper World Cup. Okay, day six. That's when I make my World Cup debut against Sweden. Hmm, okay, okay. Happy with that. Ease myself in. Um, and here's all the groups. Lovely. So we can look at that later on. And I think that's it for now. Right, let's do this. Here we are at the San Siro for some reason. Right, let's just... Um, I have prepared a formation during my warm-up games. So let's load that in. So as I said previously, I will just run you through the squad. 22-man uh, squad, I believe. Um, apologies in advance when I inevitably butcher some of these names. Um... But let's just give it a go. So, starting goal, number one, Ife Jaguar. Ife Jaguar. No idea who he is. Well, that is his real name because they, in Nigeria, won the teams to have real names on there. Um, never heard of him. Uh, centre back and captain, Taribo West, the main man. Um, on this game, I swear on this game, he had his famous green hair. Um, but when I went to just, well, during the games, I noticed he didn't. I did try and, I did go to edit mode to try and correct it, give him his hair, green hair back. But. It's not an option, so I'm, I'm assuming that's from another Prevo game. Please do tell me where that's from in the comments, because um, I'd love to know. Uh, now we have, I believe this first name's F.A. F.A. Sodge, played for Peterborough South End. He's also at centre back, left back, former Chelsea legend Celestine Babiaro. Uh, right back, um, we've got a left-footed player. Uh, I only put him in because he's got a bit more pace than the the starting right back, the new, normal right back, Iroha. In midfield, we've got Fanidi, who is probably more of an attacking midfielder, but his stats are really good, so I'm just going to slot him in centre mid. Uh, as I said before, Sunday Elise, shooting power, 19 out of 19. You can't, well, he's, there's no way he's not starting. JJ Okocha, look at those stats, he's fantastic. Shooting power could be better, that's a bit disappointing, but the rest of them, fantastic. Now, I do like a team with a big centre forward in this game. You can score some cracking headers with two centre forwards. Um, Connie, probably not the best target man, I'd say, in the game, but I think he'll do. He's got decent finishing as well, so he should get a few goals, hopefully. Now, the main man, I'd say the best player in this team, and probably one of the best players in the game. Always, I'd say, one of the first two players I'd buy in Master League, Tijani Babangida. He's right third, he's playing on the left wing. He's going to do a lot, just to warn you, he is going to do a lot of cutting in and shooting. And then on right midfield, more of a centre forward, this guy, but he, as you can see, he's quite cool as well. And I've just noticed he's both footed, so that's good. Julius Agahawa. Um, let's just check, run through the subs quickly. Um, 
centre back Oke Chu. Oh god, Oke Chuku. Uh, I don't know who that is. In Yanimi, don't know who that is. Another centre back. Um, I think the the normal starting right back Okpara. Uh, depending on how o I I Iroha Iroha does, we might bring Okpara back in, but we'll see. Um, Oparaku, defensive mid. I can't see him getting any games. Lawal. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Right midfielder, I think. Um, not really using right midfielder, so I don't think he's going to get any games. Aruma looks a decent play. He might come in. Um, we'll see how he does as an attacking mid. Uh, Centre forward Chukwu doesn't look that good. Probably won't get a game. Uh, Ade Poju. Um, is he a right back? Number eight? What? Good lord. I've only just got over Carney Ren number four. Mm, he's not too bad. He might get a game. We'll see. Um, Okpa Bori. His stats are okay. I can't say I've really heard of him before. Ikpeba. I've definitely heard of him. And his stats are pretty decent. He's got a great jump in. And he's a bit quick. He's a bit small though. So... Depending on how Kanu does, he might get a game. And then we've got one subkeeper. I thought you were supposed to have two sub uh, well, three keepers in total, but we've only got two. Uh, the reserve keeper, Akanji, comes in. Um, no idea if he's any good. He probably won't get a game. He's. Mm, if it. It's called Iffy. Iffy. Iffy, he's pretty. He's, he's slightly better than him, so he's probably going to be my first choice. As I said, Captain Cerebro West, and we've got a Kocha basically in all set pieces, apart from penalty kicks, which. Uh, you know, we know, we all know Carnu can take a penny. So, should we start this walk up? I think we should. Let's do this. Here they come, the lads. <laughs> oh, it's so good, the sequence. I thought there was music when they came out. It's not. And the crowd go wild. I don't even call that wild. Here they are, the lads. Future World Cup winners. I reckon I'll be disappointed if we don't at least make the quarterfinals. That's what I'm looking at. But obviously we're we're going to try and win it. Oh wow, looking good. Dust squad. Oh, that, I remember that Sweden kit. Fantastic. No Larson, I don't think. That's odd. Anyway, it's Nigeria versus Sweden at the San Siro. And it's live. All right, let's try and... Okay, right, that didn't work. I was hoping to do uh, repeat his antics in the, the warm-up games. We're from, straight from kickoff. Oh, oh my God. It's a, it's a mix-up. Oh, God. Right, yeah, like I say, I've turned uh, commentary off because it's terrible, so I'm just going to live comm as I go along. Which uh, probably won't be much better, if I'm honest. So a bit of full disclosure, I won't be showing the whole match because um, they'll just go on too long. And I'll probably just, well, I am going to show you the highlights from these games. All the drama, hopefully a few goals as well. And hopefully, all for Nigeria. Alright, big win. JJ's up. Nice. There we go. Glad to see him seeing lot the ball already to Johnny. He could be in. He's in! He scores! Baban Gidda, you fucking hero. Oh man, I can see him being my top score already. In fact, if I was a better man, I'd chuck 20 quid on that straight away. So he's just so quick, rapid. He's strong on the ball as well, and that's a nice finish. Lovely stuff. Is that class is cutting an issue in? I'm gonna say no. Cross it in and Oh, I just can't work it out. I'm used to just FIFA, you just bash uh, the shoot button and just hope for the best. You have to actually. Akotcha, he's in! Oh! Saved by a keeper. Tell you what, we have got their number. Just remembered as well that not only did we beat them in the warm up, we beat them with 10 men as well. Can't you? Oh, that's awful. <laughs> Go on, Babs. Get in the, in the mixer. He's unmarked! Oh! <laughs> My goodness! 18, blimey. Agahawa, what a goal! <laughs> that was absolutely fantastic. What an effort. What an effort. 2 0 up. Alright, lots of space here. Can we cut inside? Oh, he's done in! Oh! Shoot! Oh, rubbish. Fine, he's up. Lovely. See? 
so useful having that big centre forward just to win those headers. I can run. You are in. Oh, ho, 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 ho. again. Oh, what? These front three are dangerous. Is this the best front three in the world? Could, could be. Yeah, okay, I admit that is definitely a cut in the shoot, but look how that's a nice finish. Babangida showing why he is a true Master League legend. And we are cruising. We are absolutely cruising here. Did I, I did definitely put it on normal, didn't I? Because I, really, I didn't score that many goals in the warm-up matches. Now it's raining goals. Oh, we're going short. Get it out. Oh, we fucked that up, luckily. Oh, no. Oh, get out. Oh, my God. That's horrific. Get him in that book, ref. Yeah, too right. He's 22. He's got grey hair. What's going on there? All right, Kocha. Oh, I remember being so good at free kicks, but I cannot remember. How you doing? Um... No, that's not enough. Rubbish. Oh, oh, three go west. Oh, that would be lovely. The skipper and his non-green hair. Batman Gitter. Where he likes to be. Terrorising defenders. Oh, oh, I thought it was going to drop. Maybe it will. Oh, unlucky boys. Oh, that's nice. What's the keeper doing? Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, a hit from JJ. I was slagging him off before, saying his he couldn't shoot hard enough, and he's just banged it in from 25 yards. Let's say 20 yards. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Well, half time. We're four bloody nil up. We've absolutely hammered them. I did not expect that. I thought it was going to be quite a tight game. But anyway, goal difference could come into it. So let's bag a few more, shall we? Oh, God. Oh, they're in. Shit. I thought they were going to get the ball. Who the hell is Pettersson? Never heard of him. Where is Henrik Larsson? Damn, clean sheet gone. Yeah, that's bad defending. Too much space. And a tidy finish. Well done, mate. Babiara playing defensive mid for some reason. Plays in. Baba, get up. Right, here we go. Oh, that was fucking stupid. Oh, he's running back. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck me. That's the hat trick. The Tijani Babangida. <laughs> that was horrific. Good grief. Where's the music gone? Oh, and then what is he doing? <laughs> Big win! Oh, you're having a laugh, ref. It's only a knee up the arse. What's the problem? Right, who are you and can you take a free kick? Let's hope not. Jump! Oh, my goodness. Danidi wins it. Oh. No way, ref. There's not even a linesman, for God's sake. Oh. Oh, my God. That's a really nice goal. That's a goal fest here. Kenneth Anderson. Nicely done, mate. <laughs> What a hit. Oh, Bamming get a chop down by Melba. Get him in the book. 22. Good lord. No, 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 no. That is terrible news. God, I didn't know he could have injuries in there. Oh, he's obviously coming off. We're 5 2 up. He's banged in a hat trick. Um, I'm assuming he's going to be okay for the next match. 
All right, let's chuck on who's fast, who's fast. I'll tell you what, should we put Finidi there? Yeah, he is an attacker by trade. Put Agahawa there, Finidi right wing, and then we'll chuck on... Have we got any just normal centre midfielders? I don't think we do. We want to hold on to this lead, so I'm going to chuck on a defender. I'm going to put... I'm going to put Soje, Soj, Soji, I just call him Soj. Soj defensive mid, and we'll chuck um, Akechukwu back in centre back. Yes, yes, that'll do. Carnu's in. Oh, do not want to concede any more goals, and it gets a bit nervy. Oh, but get another goal now. We'll fucking seal it, surely. Lovely play. Finidi's in. Finidi! Oh my god. Agawa! Oh! Fuck me. Right, I've switched uh, Soje and Elise. Oh god. Oh, keeper! Keeper, get back and go! Oh, what block! Make it, make it, make it. No foul, preferably. Oh, we are. Out of the course here. Yeah, I've swapped. Uh, Soje and Elise around, so Elise can get forward more. Bang in a few 30 yarders. Get out, get out. Keep it. Alright, for last, I know you're not supposed to make a sub at corners, but for the last 15, we're going to chuck on. Um, we're going to give Ikpeba a run out because his stats are pretty sweet. What can the Kocha do? Can we do some step overs? We can. Oh, we've beaten him. Elise up, Ikpeba. No, and he's fucked it. Damn it. Oh, fuck off, ref. <laughs> what header. Oh, counter attacking now. Agahawa. He's in here. He is in. Their defence doesn't really care. So we're just going to slot in the back of the net. <laughs> Fucking hell. What is going on there? Second goal of the game, I believe. It's an absolute rout. <laughs> That should be it. It is it. Wow. The Super Eagles registering a huge victory. 6-2. What a thriller. Ah, that was nice. As you can see, we absolutely trounced them. Um, they had a few half chances, got a couple of goals. But other than that, we absolutely destroyed them. So a hat-trick for the main man, Tijani Babangida. I think he's going to be player of the tournament on this form. To be honest, I'm quite surprised I won that heavily. I mean, I only beat him 1-0 in the warm-up. How can I go and then beat him 6-2? Um, what was, I'm not going to look at all the scores. I'm just going to see what the score was in the other group game. It's day six, wasn't it? Where was it? Uh, Mexico four, France two. Wow. There's a shock result. As is England losing 4-2 to fucking Tunisia. Good grief. And then, as you can see, Claudio, two other hat-tricks. Claudio Lupez and Davo Soka. But yeah, to Babangida in first. Agahau in fourth. Lovely stuff. Let's keep that going. Two assists for a clutch as well. I didn't even look at the assists. So we sit nicely top of the group at the moment. Level one points in Mexico, would you believe? But a slightly healthier goal difference. And that, ladies and gentlemen, leads us to our next game. The Super Eagles against Mexico. Mexico.